Thank you, Ed. For more on all this, let's bring in Wyoming Senator John Barrasso, chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. Uh, so good of you to be here. Before we talk about the cost of this and this $3 trillion yes, price Senator. tag, do the American people need more help? Is more relief needed to stimulate the American economy? Well, at home in Wyoming, we know that what we need to do is actually reopen our communities, reopen uh, the economy so people can get back to their normal lives. That's what we need to do. That is the best thing we can do and get the disease behind us with more testing, with vaccines, with therapeutics. That is the right plan for America. That's what we're doing at home in Wyoming right now, Sandra. But still, Nancy Pelosi is backing this $3 trillion relief package. Here she is making the case for it. I think that there's an opportunity for here for us because this is only centered, only centered on the coronavirus. Although it's a big ticket, it's a big problem. So if you can't agree on the $3 trillion relief package, but the American people do they are struggling. We don't know how quickly the economies will open up in certain parts of the country. How do you get help to those that need it the most right now? Well, first, Nancy Pelosi must be living on Fantasy Island if she actually believes that this $3 trillion bill is going to become law. It is big, as you said. It's also bloated. It's partisan. And it's a payout to her liberal constituencies. So I'll just tell you two comparisons because she says this is focused on coronavirus. This is direct payments to illegal immigrants, but yet includes absolutely not a dime, not a dime for the Paycheck a Protection Program, which has been so successful. 11,000 small businesses in Wyoming have taken part of that. Additionally, she wants to work to help release prisoners from ICE facilities but provides no protection for the small businesses, the mom and pop businesses that are afraid of being sued when they open again because of the sue and, set and settle lawyers. I mean, that is the problem. This is all done with taxpayer dollars. What we need to do, and I believe we may need to do more, needs to be targeted and temporary and focused on the coronavirus, the economic as well as the medical side of it, Sandra. Because while some Republicans have pointed out that there are some necessary things in there, like help for our meat uh, packing and meat industry uh, folks out there, there are other things that are packed in that $3 trillion package, including, um, I, I, I think, provisions for, for the marijuana business, EPA study on pollution, uh, funding for the arts, um, inspector general protections. So it's important for the American people to know what is in that $3 trillion package. Finally, Senator, I want to ask you about Alexandria Ocasio Cortez of New York. She is introducing this bill to provide burial costs for COVID-19 victims. Where would you stand on that proposal, Senator? Well, first, going back to your point about cannabis and marijuana, they actually, Nancy Pelosi's bill mentions that 68 times. She mentions that more often than they use the word job or jobs. With regard to what uh, Ocasio-Cortez is promoting, what that shows is additional division among the Democrats, that no matter how much Nancy Pelosi has put into this bill, there are still Democrats on the far, far left side of her party that want to put more into the bill and think $3 trillion is enough and not enough has been included. And it'll be interesting to let them fight that out and watch that fight as it develops. Yeah, and for those who don't know exactly what it is that she's introduced, she is proposing that FEMA give the families of those victims who have passed from COVID-19 causes $10,000 each to cover the costs of burial and funeral services. Senator, always appreciate having you on the program. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be with you.